What's up, everybody? Ben Reza here for Odd Chopper. I am back. It is Tuesday, October 17th in the sports world. College basketball is not quite here. The NBA is not quite here. But you know what? College football rules the day. They've got games starting from Tuesday all the way to Saturday to get us what we need until NFL comes back. And that means we're going to be breaking down the Sun Belt today, which is a little dangerous. But there are opportunities to hopefully put a W on the board. And that's what we try to do here at Odd Chopper. From college football to NFL, NBA, whatever you like. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Be part of this. 100,000 strong. Coming soon to Odd Chopper. Yesterday, kind of hope you missed the video. We had the over in the Chargers game. I honestly don't know what to think. Uh, I thought we got the right tempo, to be honest. But the execution was just awful in the red zone. Wasn't really close to cashing. So we start the week 0-1. A minor blip. We've got many opportunities to put another winning week on the board. You want wins on wins. Bet365 has got a win for you right here. But... You do have to be one of the lucky people in New Jersey, Ohio, Virginia, Iowa, Kentucky, or Colorado. If I just said your state, pay attention. $150 in bonus bets coming to you, the link below. You bet five, you get $150 in bonus bets. Not off a win, off anything. You could bet a winner, a loser, a put, it doesn't matter. Uh, Just an opportunity there to get $150 in bonus bet, $365 in Kentucky. Lucky for people in Kentucky, you got to be 20 plus. 18 in Kentucky. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Let's get to this game. Let's get to this spread. I'm looking at Southern Miss and South Alabama. Yes, massive, massive line. There are 17 and a half out there. Minus 110 over on FanDuel. That's where I go because we're laying the points. A lot of points. A lot of points. Here we go. Minus 17 and a half. Sometimes. It's disgusting, but it has to be done. And this is one of those times because it's the Sun Belt and it's Southern Miss and it's South Alabama. So where do we begin? Let's begin with Southern Miss. This team is uh, no bueno, not good. It's really bad. They've got no FBS wins. They beat Alcorn State. They lost to everybody else. I don't know, man. Uh, They can run the ball a little, I guess. They can't pass whatsoever. The running game is not nearly as strong as they expected it to be. Their defense is super bad. Uh, Outside the top 100 in most metrics, they're giving up over five yards per carry. That's a major problem. Uh, They lost to Florida State by 53. No surprise there. They lost by 18 to Tulane. No real surprise there. They lost every other game competitive, but it's not a matter that they kept it close. I'm not sure they should have lost those games. Like you shouldn't be losing to Arkansas State. Texas State, the game they were they gave up 40 points in the first half and then they rallied. Don't know what we make of that. I, I just have nothing good to say, unfortunately, about Southern Miss. I don't see really many reasons why they would go in here and cause any sort of problems. A 51 and a half point total is probably their best data point. They could keep it slowish, maybe make the game ugly. Neither of these teams play overly fast. I will say that. But I'm not sure it's going to matter. In fact, I don't think it's going to matter. South Alabama, they're 3-3. Three and three, And maybe I'm just wrong about this team. I really expected big things from them this year. They were a good team. Uh, losses to Tulane. Okay, Tulane's very good as well. You lost to Central Michigan. I don't understand how that happened. And then James Madison, who's also a very good team. You've seen flashes of it. Flashes of it. They beat... Oklahoma State in Stillwater by 26. Now, I don't think Oklahoma State's any good, but they're playing a hell of a lot better lately. They just beat Kansas. They just beat Kansas State. South Alabama beat them on the road by nearly four touchdowns. They won last week by 48 points on the road to Louisiana Monroe, who's not a good team. But if if Louisiana Monroe and Southern Miss played on a neutral field, Louisiana Monroe would be favored, in my opinion. So I I just look at this. uh, You want to go comparative teams they just beat a team by 50 points on the road now they're at home their losses have been bad their wins have been impressive every win by 18 or more points their backfield should feast Webb, uh their lead back should absolutely have a field day against southern misses front there's no way that they can stop them if they want to throw through the air no problem they have ample opportunities they've got experience at quarterback i i, I would hope that southern southern miss will have no answers for this and i would hope that south alabama Really just take care of the ball. Nice, easy drives. You hang 38 to 40 points, 38 to 40. That's pretty narrow. Let's go like 30 to 40. How about before I just say that they have to score 39? But, you know, give me five, six touchdowns and we'll call it a day here. I I don't think Southern Miss can do much of anything. It's ugly. I'll be the first to admit it. 
It is ugly. I like the spot, though. Give me South Alabama minus 17 and a half. Minus 110 tonight. There you have it, friends. Appreciate you guys again. College football coming to you all week here at Odd Chopper. If you have any questions at all, at JazzRazDFS, over on X, over on Twitter, whatever we want to call it. Uh, and, of course, you can find me here. I'll be here all week. Tomorrow, I'll actually be on the Odd Chopper Golf Channel, giving you a little sneak peek of what we've got going on on the links. But expect the Ben's Best Bet video. Each and every day, let's cash some tickets starting tonight with South Alabama for me, for the Jaguars, for all of you guys. Good luck. Enjoy the game. Talk to you soon.